Welcome guys to another episode of Room Arena and today we're gonna be playing some Brood Beatdown. So basically, this is the deck I kinda have stolen from the clone game of the Broom Arena known also as Clash Royale. And yeah, today we're gonna be playing some decks that are pretty much meta in this game and check uh, if they're good in Boom Arena as well. My opponent will be Juan Rey uh, with 10 medals, so it means that he has won at least one Boom Arena game. At least good sign we are not playing against a complete amateur. I'm gonna play a Blitz on this Bomberman uh, to save my uh, Devils and force him to play a additional response which will be uh, bullets and even though he played the bullets uh, his first dark knight was just too much and i think uh, after that he's gonna be having a very hard time uh, coming back into this game i'm gonna be playing some response against this uh, these twins and then i'm gonna just go instantly for a counter push because that's pretty much how you play this deck i'm gonna play bomber here Pretty much uh, playing bullets I think would have been a better play, but at the same time I kinda want to just mount the troops on my opponent's side, and that's also how you kinda play this deck, so I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. My opponent obviously will be taking a uh, pleasant uh, trade right here, so uh, we kinda have to stay on the off uh, in defensive side right now. I'm gonna play actually a swordsman because Honestly, why not? Uh, my opponent is not forcing me into responding to him. And right now, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple yet effective trick that uh, gets my opponents every single time. It's gonna be him playing Darkly and then Apes. He thinks he's gonna get a very huge push on the side he uh, opposite to my push. And yet, I'm gonna just kite his Dark Knight with the Brute, split it, uh, split. Uh, the attention of uh, his troops. I'm gonna actually play a function which will not charge the Bomberman, so I'm gonna give him nice play by playing this very nicely uh, timed uh, Skeleton Ord. And right now we kind of have to stop this Bomberman because obviously Bomberman will be the best response to a Mother Devil <coughs> in his deck. I'm gonna play Brute right now. I'm gonna play also a function just to counter the. Uh, Dark Knight, and he's gonna plank a. He's gonna plank a. Flying Robot. V very bizarre one, but yeah. We're gonna be living a GG's because the game is frankly over and there's nothing my opponent can do. So that's gonna be very swift and easy game number one. Let's jump to the game number two. And my another opponent in today's video will be a guy with. I don't know what name, honestly, I, I'm i not sure I can even read that. My opponent will be cycling poison on my tower for some damage, obviously, and will be calling me out as a noob right away. I don't know why is he doing that, but at the same time, I'm gonna just play Bomberman against, against his Devil Horde, because frankly, I don't see anything wrong in this play. I'm gonna play a Funking just to try to pressure him, and Bomberman not only just killed the uh, just kill his uh, Devil Horde, he's gonna also be taking care of the Skelt Horde, definitely a nice 5 mana investment. Only thing I was kinda scared it was that my opponent will be capable of spelling everything that I own in my life, but it didn't happen. I get away with pretty fast 3 stars since my opponent didn't know how to navigate the defense. That sometimes happens, you sometimes just build a huge push with this deck and your opponent just isn't uh, capable of defending. What can I say? Very easy game number 2, let's jump to the next game. And right now we're gonna be facing Brandon who will be also a zero medal player. Very disappointing start to the video since I'm only playing like against very off meta decks and players that kinda are new to the game. One would say it's called Cyberbull, but I would say it's actually a educational part because I'm helping them understand that their decks are <laughs> garbage and they have to improve. I'm gonna actually let this team come and go. That's also a very instructive part of uh, this deck. You, you are not always uh, forced to defend everything perfectly, sometimes you just can suck some damage in order to make a huge push. I'm gonna actually play Fontaine behind the Brute, 
let it charge and my bot will be playing a Bomberman which is like one of the best responses to a, a Mother Devil in the game so definitely nice play. Also I kinda misplayed my Fawn King since it, it shouldn't definitely go in front of the Brute. So that's kinda on me. I'll have to set up another push. I obviously could have gone in with this bomber, but I'm more comfortable just setting it up from the very back because that's how you will uh, set up uh, pushes against like most matchups. Uh, and this time I actually will use just my uh, brute as a mid shield. So while the brute will approach uh, uh, the bridge. I'm gonna just use my Bomberman to kill his Bomberman and then I'm gonna uh, use the Swordsman to protect it from Ken because he has shown the knowledge that he are, is actually capable of playing this previously. This Bomberman will actually clean up his uh, entire push and I'm absolutely happy with that and that's why I'm gonna just go in once again uh, with Bomberman because why not. I'm gonna use some bullets just to eliminate the archer and we can distill hammer because honestly why not. He's gonna be having a stone phones but for that I always have the blitz. I think I'm honestly gonna play a blitz just to assure this tower. And I'm gonna set up once again the phone king because he doesn't have many good responses against it as well. So he's gonna actually set up a very heavy push right here. I'm gonna play a swordsman against his Bomberman because obviously it's the most annoying card in his deck. I don't have a good response against it, so we're gonna just have to be very careful against that. My opponent will be actually setting up a mini push right here. I'm gonna play a Blitz here. I think I'm gonna receive one uh, Blast from the Bomb Blasters, but it doesn't really matter. I could afford that and at the same time I was already setting up another push in case this uh, game wasn't already over. So yeah, GG's nice plate, let's jump to the game number 4. And in the next game we'll be facing a player with a very characteristic name which was pretty much the meme of the Boom Arena once it was a very new game. It's obviously a nerf digger message which uh, speaks for itself. My opponent will be actually very smart with his defenses, protecting his cannon from the Font King and I think this Brute will actually deal no damage. Uh, maybe this Bomber will do something. One hit please, thank you. Okay, so uh, my opponent will be named Nerf Digger, he has zero metals and he's gonna be playing a 2.6 Super Ape Cycle. So basically the uh, strategy against this deck will be to never stack because obviously the flying bomb will be very lethal uh, against uh, our deck. I'm gonna actually play Swordsman here just to uh, prevent the Explorer from dealing too much damage and right now we are gonna be willing to set up a Brute Push and if we're gonna be given a chance we're gonna be obviously doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna just set up a Brute honestly right away because I don't see my opponent like preventing me from doing it. With that being said, yeah, we're gonna be just going with the Brute. It's gonna be playing a Super Ape on the opposite side, which is definitely a correct call. In this scenario, he wants to split my uh, forces, which, like I said, is definitely a, a good way of defending because if uh, your forces are split both towers can engage it and my opponent already calls me nuke for absolutely no reason. I don't know, I think this push would be very easy for him to defend but yet he's just falling into despair with his emotions trying to justify his mistakes by calling me a novice even though I have way more medals than him. So yeah, another 2.6 player has been defeated, the world has never been happier, GG is nice played. I think I'm gonna play actually two more games because some of them in today's video were very short. And the next game of today's video will be against a Ganesh Bura who actually replied with some nice play. Very nice to see it sometimes. I'm gonna play Swordman in the back and my opponent will be playing a Mother Skeleton. So I would say it's a kind of a mid-ladder pick, but at the same time, let's don't insult our opponent. 
he may still have some tricks up his sleeve. You never know, honestly. He may be absolute a PvP god, or we may just be not aware of it. I'm gonna play Blitz just to make sure that I'm gonna kill the uh, Longsword. And right now, he actually has to spend mana to defend that because if he doesn't, he's gonna get a very huge hit on his tower which he even didn't stop. I think he was uh, having a zero mana while he was playing these bullets, so very unfortunate scenario for him. I'm gonna set up a brute in the back and yeah, he's gonna be playing a mother devil against it. Obviously we want to play the mother devil ourselves and then I think the strategy will be to set up a uh, swordsman and then to play a bullets once uh, the third uh, one, once the third devil pops off. So we're gonna actually spam with the phone king because I'm pretty sure he must be low on mana. And there we go. I think we already have won the game because my opponent will be having a huge trouble with stopping this. I actually played a blitz too late. I think if I were to be faster with it, uh, I could have prevent. I could have already taken the tower down, but it doesn't really matter. I honestly was thinking that the Fun King will kill, uh, will kill the uh, bomber with its charge, but it charged onto the tower. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. We're gonna just uh, keep that uh, as a uh, not resolved problem. Obviously, I'm gonna keep stacking my push, and I think it's time to play good. So I'm gonna this time play a bomber maybe because it's the card. I haven't shown uh, in this match yet to my opponent, so he, he may be surprised by this point and I don't think he actually has resources to stop the oncoming push, so I'm gonna just uh, keep it harder and harder for him to stop it like ever. I'm gonna play Bomber, Bomberman will take care of Devils and I, at this point I'm pretty damn sure that this game has been concluded. I'm gonna play Blitz just to preserve my Bomberman for a bit longer. And that's gonna be to this nice plate. Very cool game against Ganesh Bura with this time 121 medals, which is way more than my previous opponents even combined. So it's at least nice to see that we are not playing against uh, absolute beginners. He actually had to win a couple of games in this game, so we at least know by the law of natural selection that his deck had to be at least remotely good, or he had to be uh, at least remotely good. I don't know, maybe it's kind of a coping mechanism because these days it's very tough to uh, get like five good opponents uh, in a row in Boom Arena, as you probably can tell from my uh, recent videos. With that out of the way, let's jump to the sixth video of the game and wrap things up. And the last opponent of today's video will be Cower with zero medals, and very likely it's gonna be another. Uh, okay, I. Another game that uh, that's gonna be actually the first game uh, today in which I'm gonna be losing a tower uh, early on and yeah since I wasn't uh, having a perfect micro against his attack I'm gonna just try to uh, turn this attack into a uh, into a blast and uh, with that being said I think my opponent is already dead M maybe he has some clutch card which I'm uh, which I'm yet to be informed of, uh, we'll see. No point, yeah, he's gonna struggle, so that's another way to win with this deck, you basically ignore your opponent's push, because basically playing a bomber is as if I were to ignore my opponent's push, and yeah, that's gonna be the uh, final game of today's video, I'm gonna just give him a good game, just for good measures, and yeah, that's gonna be it. This deck is very powerful indeed in this game as well, even though I wasn't uh, like uh, getting uh, too big of a competition, I think it's a genuine proof that with this deck and with uh, enough skill you can still push on ladder with pretty decent success. So yeah, if you enjoyed this content, obviously uh, thank you very much for staying till the end and if you did consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you aren't already because I post Boom Arena content every single day and you don't want to miss it out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.